How to be rich and successful in life. How successful people think. Daily habits of successful people. In this video, you'll discover the top 10 habits of highly successful people that you can adopt to achieve success in your life. 1. Honesty. Being honest with yourself and others is a source of power. Being honest means that no one can call your bluff. In setting a standard of honesty, ask yourself when do I tell the truth, the whole truth? When I do remain silent, under what conditions is it appropriate to tell another person only what I know he is ready to accept? 2. Integrity. Integrity is living a value based life. Integrity is broader and more inclusive than honesty. To gauge your standard of integrity, ask yourself what is my bottom line, the bedrock standard that covers what I will do or not do, irrespective of external pressures. Integrity is the basis of authentic being and true friendship. 3. Power. Power enables you to act, to maintain your integrity and honesty, and to enforce your standards. Ask yourself what is the source of my power? Is my power derived from within, self referral, or from outside, object referral? The closer you are able to move towards self referral, the more reliable your power will be. 4. Commitment. Your commitment is a measure of your dedication to what you do and believe in. Only full commitment offers a promise of excellence. To commit only partially is to invite mediocrity. Ask yourself, with respect to each aspect of your life, work, and play, what is my level of commitment? What am I willing to commit to 100%? 5. Acceptance. Acceptance and approval are different. To approve or disapprove is to judge. To accept is to recognize and acknowledge what is. Acceptance eliminates the need to judge and quiets the mind. Ask yourself Am I willing to accept, not approve, others, situations, life, etc., as they are or it is? What am I not willing to accept? It's interesting to note that accepting a situation as is does not forfeit your right to change it. 6. Tolerance. Tolerance has both negative and positive connotations. On the one hand, is the question of what we are willing to put up with in life. On the other, are issues pertaining to what we are willing to forgive. Both are important. Ask yourself what am I tolerating that limits my growth or happiness? What am I allowing that aids my own or others' growth or healing? 7. Pace. Horses and marathoners have pace, a rhythmic style that makes trotting and running seem easy. Pace is measured relaxed action. Many of us lack pace in our lives. For each endeavor in which you are engaged, ask yourself what is the pace at which I feel completely comfortable? Am I willing to adhere to it, despite pressures to the contrary? 8. Reserve. Reserve is a margin, the gas in the tank, or the cushion in the account. To have reserve is to be freed from the demands of circumstance or crisis. There are 10 areas of reserve. Ask yourself what are my reserves of time, space, Money, energy, opportunity, love, information, wisdom, self, and integrity. 9. Fitness. Fitness is physical, mental, and spiritual. To be fit is to be more than prepared to deal with what comes at you. Fitness is a process whereby we create reserves of energy. Ask yourself what are my standards for physical, aerobic, and muscular, mental, intellectual, and emotional, and spiritual fitness? What is the minimum level of performance in each of these areas that I am willing to accept? 10. Communication and relationships. While the journey into and beyond this life is a solo one, we live in concert with others. The standards we maintain with respect to how we communicate and what is the basis of our relationships are critical in determining the success with which we negotiate this journey. Ask yourself what is my basis for communicating with others? Am I direct, indirect, or a combination of the two? On what are my relationships based, need, mutuality, giving? What am I willing to give to others? What do I expect to receive in return? Thank you for watching. Please like this video.